deliver a commencement address to the graduating class of 2023. Give it up for the machete regular and beloved avian, Chad the Bird. Uh, okay. Um, students, parents, faculty, crew, principals, headmasters, presidents, vice presidents, I see you. CEOs and CFOs, chairpersons, premiers, prime ministers, my old fucking sales floor supervisor from the Best Buy in Mission Viejo, <laughs> Kurt, Kurt, humans. <clears throat> No matter your position of authority or lack thereof on this planet, no matter the level of your little balcony on the high rise of society, no matter where on the success ladder you camped out and set up the tent and coffee percolator you got from REI, though to be honest, the GSI percolator is the better coffee maker for the backpacking enthusiasts, or if you're just fucking poor like me and you got Starbucks anxiety, we will all graduate in life. Caterpillar to butterfly. <laughs> Tadpole to frog. 2 a.m. burrito to hot dumps. As all things do, <laughs> we begin in one form, and then we take on another. And once we've attained send next form, it is time to function in that form. It's going to be weird for a little bit. Don't let anybody tell you it's going to be, quote, great, or you're going to love it when it comes to life transitions, that's bullshit and they know it. No matter what larval stage you may find yourself in, in life and nature, when you're done and come out the other end, it's gonna be hard to walk. Like a newborn deer or a freshman after their first week, you're gonna be fucked up for a bit. <laughs> it will happen naturally. Puberty, adolescence, adulthood, and then one day you're gonna wake up and finally dig bananas for some reason. It will happen metaphorically. Promotions, change in location, relationship status, or more pertinent, graduation, which brings us here today. And the reason I'm nine beers to the fucking win, because I caught a second hand lit from the campus parties in the area on the walk over. So I figured, why not make today a national holiday? <laughs> so before you go metaphorically into the next stage of your lives, because that's what this is, man, it's graduation. It's a mark in time a tick on the doorpost, a score check in a game made by humans for humans, so, like, don't get cocky and shit, okay? <laughs> the bowhead whale can live 200-plus years. You haven't figured that out yet. Power down and enjoy the party. <laughs> it is best that we must pause and reflect and remember the lessons learned and wisdom earned, go over our stats and power down the old skill tree because level two and up is always going to be harder. For those humans actually graduating, a scholarly commitment it is a moment to stop fucking worrying about the void and just be happy you made it to where you can slam some beers, order fried goods, and feel socially comfortable doing a shot ski. No matter where you're at in the journey, socially, naturally, or if you're just finally going to watch Narcos, <laughs> May to June is graduation season. So let's all take a second for where we've been, where we are, and where we're going, and let's graduate together. What are we graduating to in this arbitrary graduation moment? Doesn't matter, pick a thing. You use the correct apostrophe in your on the first try. You used all the vegetables you bought and you don't have to clean out a crime scene in your refrigerator at the end of the month. You tried jackfruit, I don't give a fuck. Just pick a thing that elevated you today, and that's your graduation, boom. Now I hear you. Why do we throw graduations at all if everything could be a moment to celebrate a lesson learned? And to that I say, ask anyone working on a PhD or any degree these days. For those that have been studying and shit, filling out the paperwork, scoring well, taking night classes because they also have a job during the week because who has money these days? We should indeed be making a special effort to honor their sacrifice. The university graduation ceremony, or commencement if you won't be bougie about it, <laughs> goes back to the first universities in Europe in the 12th and 13th centuries. Back then, a lot of professors were priests or monks. They dressed fancy, yada yada, Google this later. Caps and gowns, the cap, or mortarboard if you won't be a campus tour guide about it, 
comes from the 15th century. It's based on the little beretta, which are those hats you see Catholic clergy wearing, and they look like they just got a fancy VIP gift box from a gala they intended, and they're just walking it around with it on their head to show off. The hoods came around the 1800s because it was fucking cold. <laughs> and the gown hasn't changed much since the 60s. It gets complicated when you get into doctorates because they changed a lot. You get these big ass stripes on their robes so they look like wizards at an EDM festival. <laughs> the colors mean whatever discipline they got a doctorate in because shit's hard. So yeah, fucking bow down to the fancy stripes, peasant. They spent a decade trying to look this fresh. You want to come get it? We need more doctors and less TikTokers, man. I mean, from there, you know where it goes. Speeches go long, people cry, someone flashes their ass cheeks, and the whole thing is backed by March number one in D from Parp and Circumstance Military Marches, Opus 39, if you want to be Sir Edward Elgar about it which was written to be performed as, quote, proud music that draws men to die, which, fuck, way to dampen the tone of the day, school. It's like, way to go on surviving years of school. Now fucking point those mortar boards to war in mid-level management. Makes the congrats balloon real fucking dark. For those of you that graduated in the 90s, more specifically the class of 1999, you got yourselves a groovier commencement anthem from Baz Luhrmann, whose classic remix of the commencement speech and Everybody's Free to Feel Good by Rosala became Everybody's Free to Wear Sunscreen, and it bummed the shit out of the graduating class <laughs> because their graduation song should have been in 1999 by Prince. Like, way to biff the prophecy, school board. You only get one shot at that. No wonder the adults are depressed. By the way, the human that wrote that speech that they used in its entirety in the song, it's read by Lee Perry, who's an Australian actor, but it was published 25 years ago this weekend by Pulitzer Prize-winning Chicago Tribune writer and writer for the comic strip Brenda Starr, Mary Schmeek. And it still remains the best advice to anyone graduating anything. Just put that and oh, the places you go in the Jansport and just send them off. They'll get it. That's all you gotta do. And it is respect to the great Mary Schmeek on the anniversary of advice like youth probably just wasted on the young, which was published June 1st, 1997, that I graciously accept the honor of being your commencement speaker for today's graduation ceremony. Greetings, grads! You made it! It's today! A day you've been working towards since yesterday. And now you're here, and it's gotta feel great. As you go forward into tomorrow, May you be honored with high fives and a couple finger guns and hopefully a wink or two, because that's how you know you're nailing it. <laughs> now, I have not lived past today, so I cannot tell you what the future is going to be, but I can tell you what I learned yesterday and before. So, like, call me sometimes. I got advice. But please keep the questions within the timeline where I was alive, because if it is before that, I will defer to my colleagues that are older, because they'll know probably. <laughs> Graduates, take in this moment. For it is a marker on the road of life, and you got to make sure you know where you are in case you get lost, like I just did a second ago. But I blame the beer for that. <laughs> I regret that I am not fully sober enough to grasp this moment for you, because I have been living through a bunch of life moments in the last three years, and they haven't really been the most awesome. One might say everything changed, and we never really acknowledged it enough to realize that things were going to change in an instant. So I've been drinking about it. <laughs> so maybe that's my first piece of advice to you. Stop for a minute today and take account of where you are, what's happening, and what you're actually about so you get a handle on going forward. You've worked hard to get here, whatever it is, be it university, or you like just got off a plane, or you had to brave the Taylor Swift traffic this weekend. <laughs> take the opportunity to congratulate yourself so that you may graduate to tomorrow. To paraphrase, Lord de Tabley's March of Glory, which influenced Pop and Circumstance by Sir Algar, May you move to the future with heaven in your veins. In the words of Mary Schmeek, be kind to your knees. You will miss them when they're gone. <laughs> and as for the rest of you that didn't do the reading, and I don't know if you've been on TikTok or like watch the news, but that's a lot of you. And that should frighten you a lot because you're in charge. Get your ass back to the classroom and learn something today because that is the greatest honor you can receive because nothing makes you feel for like you've leveled up in life 
the knowing shit to be true rather than just feeling it. <laughs> also, invest in a GSI percolator. If you're hiking, watch Narcos, it's great. Watch your burrito intake. Learn where shits come from before you do it. And don't be a dick. Congratulations. <laughs> Champ the bird, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>